You wish to consult me? The events of the last days weigh heavily upon you. Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The Absolute is not a god, but an elder brain controlled by the Chosen of the Dead Three. They mean to use it to take control of the Sword Coast. All who carry the Tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension the Chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of Mind Flayers. This would have been your fate too, were it not for the Dream Visitor's protection. With her help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the dead three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. And what then? You are prone to impulses as uncontrollable as the gods themselves. Will you even have a say in what you do? Will you liberate the true souls from their parasites and their religious delusions? Or will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? resolve feels firm, but there is no knowing how you will feel when the moment comes. You will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. your way to the portal. I need your help. Swift as my feet can carry me. Give up. orders. Oh! <laughs> 
a better position. Without you. Victims await. together much longer. my expertise. again.
on your command. Breath. It's not over. Come to this. Help me! Tentacle freak. What in the hells is this? The Githyanki is the source of our protection against the Absolute. I must subdue him, or everything we've worked towards is lost. Don't let my form deceive you. I am the one that's been protecting you. I am the one that came to you in your dreams. Help me. The Honor Guard. Eliminate them. My forces are weakened by their assault. Destroy the Guard. I will subdue their master.
your command. Nothing important is ever easy. Unleash me. Ready. Ready for battle.
Don't look at me like that. I am a mind flayer. Yes. Without me, you would be a slave to the Absolute. Of all the things to be indebted to, a bloody mind flayer. I suppose it was considerate of you not to bring it up before, and I ask that you do not judge me for it now. It's like I said before, I'm just like you. An adventurer, I came from Baldur's Gate, though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers, on a search for treasure, to a colony of mind slayers who caught me, changed me into what I am now. For years, I served the Elder Brain, the one you know as the Absolute. I was a thrall like any other, but I was fortunate. I broke free and started a new life in my old city. I sustained myself on criminals. Unglamorous, but there are plenty of them. Rarely missed. And they fueled me when I did my work. I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stillman. We formed a partnership, and through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield. The largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People referred to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence. Though of course they had no idea what I really was. My needs were sated. I was happy for a while. Until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home and brought me back to the brain, where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call me Emperor. The name was intended as a slight, to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. Not all Mind Flayers are alike. I have always valued freedom above all else. In my past life, and present. It has been a burning need within me for as long as I can remember. Gortash sent me on a mission to retrieve the Astral Prism. I was one of many, but the first to find it. How Gortash or the other Chosen learned of its existence, I do not know. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside, and found the Githyanki. I realized what the prism was for. Containment. While my body was within the prison's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue the Githyanki and find allies in the outer world. You. We fought to tame Prince Orpheus. The son of Gith herself. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus' his mother to bring about the fall of the Illithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' his mother left, a usurper took her place. Blackith declared her 
herself queen of the Githyanki. Blackith wanted his power. He refused. And so she sealed him within this prison. His honor guard, ever loyal, followed him in. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my hold on that prince. And if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. That would be a terrible idea. The moment he is free, he will attack you. Your only defense would be to kill him. And in so doing, he would doom us both. Even though he is subdued, you feel Orpheus's revulsion. A pulsing hatred that cannot be contained. The Emperor is telling the truth. To him, you are just another wretched illithid. You carry a tadpole. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already a lithid, a sworn enemy, just like me. I appreciate that, but this is what I am. My original body was destroyed when I transformed. When I first escaped the Elder Brain, I searched for a new vessel, but the longer I inhabited this one, the more it grew on me. I realized that returning to my former self would only impose limitations. Any advantage I could gain by restoring my original appearance, I already had to hand in the form of magic and that humanoid shape you've come to know. As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too should embrace this change. Like it or not, our chances of defeating the Elder Brain are substantially improved if you embrace your latent illithid potential. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle, while continuing to preserve your independence. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating beauty. If you let me... I can evolve you. Well, certainly brave of you. I'll say that much. You continue to surprise me. Your mind is truly something special. Now, hold out your hand. It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. A coldness seeps through your veins as the tadpole awakens. It's yearning almost unbearable. Your mind is a veritable feast. The tadpole's essence courses through you. Where it touches, your flesh, glands, organs contract and flood with pure thought. You feel different. Your body has never felt more connected. Your mind present in every flex of a joint or muscle. You are exquisite. When your allies see what you can do, I hope you encourage them to try it for themselves. But we mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. You heard the Chosen. The Brain has gone to the city, and the army marches to follow. We must not let them reach it. We must find the Brain, and bring it under our control. Well, that ends. Not a 
as well as he could have. Wits and blades always sharp. So, there's been a mind flayer inside the artifact, or astral prism the whole time we've had it sounds like utter madness the more i learn the less i understand just why i was sent to retrieve that thing but it matters little now lady shah has given me a new mission and the prism plays no part in it in fact it seems like the mother superior's concern alone and she has strayed from the dark lady she will be in for a rude awakening when I finally stand before her again. But I digress. Did you want something?
We must find where Gortash and Orin have established themselves, and take their nether stones. What they know could help us. Worm's Crossing. We could be inside the city walls before long. And I could... I do. The Mother Superior will have ordered them to keep watch for my return. Find one, and we discover what comes next. Worm's Crossing is a choke point. Most people seeking entry to the city will be refugees. I'd look wherever they're gathering. Everyone claims you are. Triumph after triumph. You have excelled in base villainy. For she who fights with monsters should look to it that she herself becomes a monster. When you gaze long into the abyss, the abyss also gazes into you. You have reached the time of majority, and you shall come into your birthright. But another seeks to disinherit you. Do not let her be your death. Your father loves you. So proud. Slaughter your line. Become the last of your line. Lord Baal shall have but one chosen. Memories flood back. Snatches of your story written in the blood of a thousand victims. Years spent in worship of Baal, leading his savage congregation in prayer, sacrifice, and slaughter. You were their master, and he was yours. A cruel master, a dread lord, a devoted father. All is greater than you could have dreamed. You are a spawn of Baal. His heir. His scion. The cruelty of the Slayer leaps around within. You are not the last of your name. Not yet. There is another. The abomination wrapped in flesh you saw in the colony. Orin, dear sister, must die by your hand. An offering in Baal's sanctum. Your heart pines for the love of your lord. Today is a wonderful day for murder.
May the darkness protect you. I suppose that makes you quite remarkable. Though not in a way I'd envy, perhaps. Lady Shah chose me also, but because of the blood I spilled, not what flows in my veins. You were born of murder itself. Perhaps your fate is out of your hands. Fine. What's on your... I don't think I've... After all, what I shared with you about my past... You wish to consult me? Then speak. Very well. I take no pleasure in his passing. Whatever faults he may have had, Ketherick was a great leader. Life was crueler to him than death. It is no great wonder that he found his strength in Merkel. I believe he was an honorable man, but the gods used him as their plaything. First, Shah and her sister, then the three behind the Absolute. I sympathize. It is a sharp mind that feels sympathy for one who suffers unnecessarily. I saw strength in Ketherick, but I will never forgive him for handing me to Orin. For that, <laughs> I hope Merkel hollows out his bones and lets them be dust. Excuse me, I can't find my mum. She was... um... she was sick. That was last ten day, though. Um... I do not understand why the matrons, sorry, patriarchs, of the city do not open their gates to the refugees. Hmm. The weak and the elderly, perhaps. The young would be better used as a labor force than as a source of nutrition. I wonder what the next move is.